Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are going to be battling the Chaos Guardian and making him look like a pansy. And same with the Gaia Guardian. So, I hope you guys are ready. So, today is going to be the big day. We're going to go after the Chaos Guardian. Uh, but before we do that, we have just a little bit of prep, and then we should be well on our way. I went ahead and, and grabbed my alchemy bag that I ended up getting inside. Uh, I got it a few episodes ago. Um, but what I did was I ended up putting, I have another green alchemy bag inside this alchemy bag. Yeah, it's like bag -ception. So each one of these bags can hold the same amount, but the cool thing is, is you can actually put bags inside bags and save inventory space. So we have a huge storage here. The reason I'm doing this is so I don't have to worry about infinity booster cards. Um, we could take some infinity booster cards, but I'm not really worried about it at this point. Um, but other than that, I also made an Awakened Item Dislocator. This thing is really powerful. Um, it goes very, very far. Um, well over where my cursor is pointing, it can pick up items from all the way over there. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous how far this thing can pick up. Also, I did get this thing upgraded. Um, it did it did accept the uh, the like st uh, size upgrade for the, uh, the RF storage. So I did fully upgrade that as far as I can get it upgrade or upgraded, and uh, we're ready to go there. But, over here is the, the big deal. So I've been AFKing a little bit, got a bit more EMC, and look at this. We are now up to 999 billion EMC. We almost have 1 trillion EMC. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> like, oh man, I, th I literally think, if, if we just wait for this to, to happen, we will be at that 1 trillion uh, point. Um, and I did just slow these down. All I gotta do is turn these back on. And I guarantee it will be there. In like no time. Like this thing just incredibly fast. Let's go ahead and get one more just so we can push it above that one trillion. I really want, I really want to see what that looks like there as that number just spills over. And there we go. That'll push us to the one trillion mark for sure. There we go. One trillion. This number spills all the way over here. And we've already exceeded the, the billion mark. So we've, we've hit 1 trillion EMC. It's kind of ridiculous at this point. And we're going to need 11 of these Affinity Catalysts, I think, per each uh, ingot. So I need, to, I need to go back to the Infinity Sword. I mean, I don't technically need the Infinity Sword in order to beat the Chaos Dragon, I don't think. Uh, but I, I do believe that this sword will definitely one-shot the dragon. And I won't even have to break any crystals. It is kind of that ridiculous. And you're going to find that out real soon. So, at, <laughs> at at the Avarita mod, the insanely overpowered mod, let's take a look here. So, we need uh, each Infinity Ingot. Got to pull the calculator out here because this is going to be kind of crazy. Um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. So, 16 of those. And each of these require 11 Infinity Catalysts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, with uh, 11 times 16, we need 176 of these Infinity Catalysts. And this is where this gets kind of ridiculous on the EMC usage. I'm just going to pull out two stacks. I think that if we divide this by 64, uh, we're going to need two, we're going to need almost three stacks of the Infinity Catalysts. So, I have three snacks now of Infinity Catalysts. We're also going to need some Crystal Matrix. There, so might as well get a stack of that. Also, I'm going to need my Neutronium. Uh, I think I have it stored in here. Am I spelling it right? Any? Let's grab a stack of Neutronium. And hopefully this is enough to get everything we need, right? Okay. This is enough just to get us two. Oh boy, I hope I have enough of Neutronium. That could be where we are suffering. Might be in the Neutronium department. We'll find out. I do have a few stacks, so hopefully that's enough. Um, if I go over here, I need to make sure to turn this back on. Uh, this was speeding everything up, and I, I did realize it was off. So I'll turn that back on, get that production going back up again. Should have had it on earlier. I don't know why I made that poor, poor choice to do that. So we already have two, right? We're gonna get pretty close. This will be two, four, that's six. We need 16 of those. I wonder why that didn't actually 
Oh, we're missing the, the Matrix. <laughs> Let's get a couple stacks of those then. Because, I mean, we really got to get this done. 16, so we should need 10 of those. Oh, perfect. So yeah, we'll need 10 more of these. Technically, we don't need 10. We need... Or we need 15. Okay, I'll save the rest of this. The rest will be turned into EMC. Also, I need to keep one of those. The rest can go back in here. And we'll grab another stack of that. Okay, and we have our 16th right here. So there's 16 infinity ingots, which means we can now make the Sword of Chaos. Right? Oh my. The Sword of... Not Chaos. Sword of the Cosmos. Infinity attack damage. Guys, we now have the Sword of the Cosmos. This thing is unreal on the amount of damage this thing can do. And uh, I don't think we have to worry about uh, anything much longer. Because um, we're going to be able to beat the Chaos Dragon in one hit. I, I guarantee it. So, one shot the Chaos Guardian with this thing. This sword is absolutely a beast. Um, and I think the way it works, it says Infinity Attack Damage. I think what it does is it detects how much damage is needed to actually kill the mob you're looking at. And then it, it actually uses that much. I mean, it just... Look at that. Instantly. And like, yeah, just crazy. It dropped the head, and what else did it drop? An infinity booster card or something like that? It's weird I didn't pick it up. I guess it went art automatically in our, in our drawer because of this guy back here. This is insane. Okay, so I think today, I think we're about ready. We just need some ender pearls, right? Ender pearls just to teleport us into the dimension we need to go to. But, I mean, other than that, we're we're ready to go um, and find a Chaos Guardian. So let's do that. Let's do this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and head into the end, and I'll meet you guys there. So we are now in the end, and we're going to have to head to, uh, I think it's 10,000 Y, or 10,000 X and 10,000 Z. It's at each corner, I do believe, or 10,000 out. We should find this. Now, um, it is a little bit faster with this armor. Our flight is pretty fast, so I'm going to just head in that direction and I'll I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright, so at this point, we are getting pretty close. Um, we're at 9,000 out in both directions. Um, the world is slowly generating around us. We can now see it. Um, yeah, we're getting pretty close. Pretty close. So we should, hopefully, very soon, See, so we're at 9,000 here, 10,000 that way. So now we need to cut directions. Go this way. And hopefully, we'll see one of these bad boys. Right? 9,000, 8,000. Should generate. We're a little too low. All right. So I think there should be one right up in this area. I'm going to let the, the world kind of generate, and then we'll be able to see fairly soon, <laughs> hopefully. Oh, boy. Right, so we're at 10,000 out. Oh, yes, we are definitely here. Oh, boy. Yes, this is where the dragon spawns. It's just the world has not... Oh, boy. I haven't seen the dragon yet. We need to be very quick about this as well. And hope the Chaos Guardian does spawn. Oh man, I hope so. I did have an issue with the normal dragon not spawning. Is he underground? Oh boy, he is here. He is underground or something. There he is. Look at that. One shot kill. One shot kill. That's all we had to do. This is insane. <laughs> he is gone. Absolutely wrecked, man. Get wrecked. Oh, man. It's so cool. We got to make sure he's completely gone, though. Ow. Oh, man. That is bright. 
That is so cool looking. Okay, so yeah, he's definitely gone, I think. Okay, so I, I see lightning and stuff. But I think that's all apart. I haven't heard any of the noises or anything. Boy, I guess we hit him way, way, way soon. It's kind of, maybe kind of glitched out or something. I don't know. <laughs> we might have to re-log. This is crazy. Look at all the lightning effects. Holy moly. Okay. So there goes the lightning and stuff. So I think we need to dig down, right? No, he's still doing its thing. Oh no. All right, let's try. How much damage would this do if I hit it? What in the world? Are they just like falling apart? It's so weird. Okay, I, he's officially gone now. Okay, so we can actually go down here. But that's how fast the chaos fight was. Now we gotta go down. Mine down. This might take a bit. Okay, I might have to actually relog here. Okay, so there's sounds that I'm hearing now. Uh, after I did the relog, I'm actually hearing the sounds. You guys hear that? It's like so eerie. Oh, it's making some very weird sounds. And this is like block lag that we're getting in a single player world, guys. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, I don't understand why we're getting so much block lag. But, anyways, on the inside of this, there should be a shard. Alright, we gotta get a little ways down, and we should hopefully hit some awakened draconium. Gosh, that's scary. I guess as the further we get down, the closer we get to that sound source. I don't know. But we have to work our way down here. Maybe we should start in the center? I don't know. Doesn't this thing have dig AoE? What am I talking? What am I doing? I have AoE on this. <laughs> like, what am I doing? I have AoE on this. And here we go. Here we are. So. Let's go back to this so I don't do something ridiculous with the dig AoE. Set that back to one. All right, so what do we have here? Um, in Prosperity Shard, or this is the big boy. This is the thing we're looking for, right? And this is the Chaos Crystal. So us breaking this is what we need to do. Right? I just broke it. I need to... Okay. Did I not get anything from that? Oh boy, yeah I did. We need to get out of here. This is going to explode. Um, yeah. Very soon, actually. I didn't actually get a, get a crystal, get a shard. I should have. I don't know. Oh, the shaking, by the way, that's not me. That's literally this that's doing the shaking. Wow. Okay. I'm ready to watch this explosion, though. It's kind of high. Look at that, like, shaking. What a cool effect. I've actually never done this, so this is like kind of interesting for me to see exactly what this looks like. Oh, the shaking so weird. I'm still kind of concerned. Why did I not get the the crystal? Hmm. And why hasn't this exploded? That is another big question. 
Oh, there's our crystals. I just didn't pick them up. Okay, well, this was supposed to explode. I think in the config, I might have, I might still have it set to disabled. Like the actual explosion part set to disabled. Um, simply because if I don't do that, um, we could have issues where it just completely lagged out the server. So I think that's what happens here. But normally it does explode this whole thing and all of this just disappears. Oh, oh it may still be doing it. I just never picked up the shards. Ah. Yeah, it probably is still doing it. Looks like it takes a little bit of time. Wow, this is just crazy, the shaking. It's still kind of cool, though, like... I'm just wanting to see if it actually explodes or not. And we ended up getting five chaos shards from this. That's not bad. I think that's more than enough to... To finish what we need to do. Hmm. I think this may be like glitched out because we didn't actually break it, all of these. Like we were supposed to do. Look, look at that. It's definitely doing something weird. That's at 100% broken, 100% broken, 100%. Oh, these have, like, damage? That's weird. I don't know. But anyways, we got it done. We got our Chaos Shards. That's all we needed. So now we can kind of head back home. And to do that, well, we can use this. And it's that fast. Yeah. We just kind of have to wait for our own world to load in. But there we go. We're already back home. <laughs> oh, man. This is kind of crazy. Um, So... Let's go back here. We'll we'll chain our, our flight modifier. We'll turn that all the way back down to normal, uh, so we feel like a normal person again. And yeah, I'm turning this off. Turning these all off. There we go. So that way we can get a little bit more FPS back into our world. So we defeated the Chaos Guardian. We got all that done. Now what I need to do is actually clear all of this out. Um, kind of get all these broken. I need to move this. We no longer need this area over here. So I don't need this stuff. I don't need any of this anymore. We will be summoning, though, the Gaia. And, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure we have everything to do that. So I'm not too concerned there. Um, I think I need my, I need my wand to actually do that. Oh, never mind. I can just break the center, please. I'll break all that. Awesome. And I'm going to expand this out, so I'm going to need to break all that. This and this. Perfect. Alright, all this is going to be grass. So I do need to get some grass going here. Alright, grass. And I don't think I've EMC'd this yet. But I am going to go ahead and take some. And use a wand. And we're going to, yeah, expand all this out. Because we're going to have to fight the Gaia Guardian. That is going to be our next step in this whole process. Is fighting the Gaia Guardian. Which won't be too bad. Especially since we have this lovely wand. To kind of spread the grass out. Awesome. And voila. We're good to go. Okay, so yeah, this room should be plenty big enough for us to fight the Gaia Guardian. Um, all, I go all I'm going to need is just a few things to get that started, and I'll be right back. So I just realized that I i don't know if I can fight the, uh, the Gaia Guardian in here or not. I don't remember if my actual beacon needs to be activated or not. We'll find out. We'll find out. I'm going to go ahead and place this guy in the center here. So let me dig out a hole. Fortunately, that needed to be broken. Let me go ahead and place this down somewhere near. This will work. There we go. And I'll place the dirt. Okay. And I'll place down my beacon. 
right here. Now I don't I don't think it has to be activated, but if it does, we'll go ahead and we'll go to the uh, the mining dimension, which is daylight there. So one, two, and then up here, we need this to be a block, and then one block above. One, two, block, and then above. Putting the Gaia pile on. One, two, block, one above. One, two, block, one above. Awesome. And I can go ahead and break all this. And then we'll see if I can activate this. Oh, okay. As hard as you try, the beacon will not accept your sacrifice. All right. You believe the ritual grounds are improper and might be a good idea to check obstructions from nearby. Okay. So the obstructions basically is this room's not big enough. That's the issue. So yes, it is going to be probably best for us to go to the just go to the mining dimension and just do it there. I think that'll probably be safe. That'll be a good bet. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And that won't take very long. We actually just need a bit of cobblestone to do that. And we do have that already. So this tool right here is all we need. And we need quintuple compressed cobblestone. So quintuple. Two of those. Which actually isn't that much to get there. Um, a stone pickaxe. Fresh flint and steel. And a stick. And then we have the mining multi-tool. And then the portal frame. We can make as many of these as we want. But I think we will need some stone brick, right? What this is wanting. Stone brick. And there we go. Technically we only need 10 of those. I'm going to get 12 just to be on the safe side. We'll take our mining tool because what we have to use to actually ignite the portal. And we can set the portal over here. And this is the same as a uh, portal to the end. Oh wow, I guess we needed one more. Yeah, we needed one more. That's okay, we'll just throw that in there. There we go, another piece of portal frame. Okay, so setting this up in here is going to be a lot easier. Um, let's go ahead and activate that. Hold shift to get to this dimension. And then of course then we can just link our, our, our system here. So as we travel here, shouldn't take us but a second. This is actually the first time we've been here. There's been really no need for me to come here, so that's why I just have it. It's just, it's just an, I mean, it's an overworld. Um, there's just really not been an issue or been a need for me to come here. So it's going to take a bit for it to build the train. And voila, we are now here. Um, so, what you see off in the distance, uh, as soon as the FPS decides it wants to work, there we go. Um, this over in the distance, that is from, not blood magic, but, um, evil craft. Yeah, it's from evil craft is what that's from, which we never touched because there was really no need for us to. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this situated. Right. So here we go. All right. Let's go ahead and get this done. Let's place this back again. We're going to get away from our portal a little bit. So we can do this. Place this down, just like we did earlier. And then our pylons are going to need to be a specific distance out. One, two, then placed here. One, two, placed here. One, two, place here. One, two, place there. There we go. Clear this. I probably should have grabbed some more tear steel because we can fight this guy multiple times. But there we go. And shift right click this with Terra Steel and our fight is on. We're going to be going after another boss here, but this battle's not going to last very long. Believe me, not with this sword. I I'm not joking when I say this is an incredible sword. Like this might even glitch him out. Let's head to him. <laughs> oh, it's so so ridiculous. Um, okay. And there's our Gaia spirits. So we're going to need those. Um, and I guess what we can do is we can set this to add new 
Let's see. What is this? The Let's I guess over overworld dimension. And we'll save that and then we'll just go ahead and head back head back home. This is this is the funny thing. So we can keep fighting him over and over again, but that's not what I want. I want to go ahead and upgrade and do the higher tier version because we get more loot and some better stuff whenever we fight the higher tier guardian. Um, in order to do that, we need to take the Gaia Spirits and I believe you apply them, yeah, to your Terra Steel and that'll get you the higher tier. So let's just take some more Terra Steel and we'll take the ones that we currently got and we'll make two ingots worth. And that'll give us the Gaia Spirit ingots. And uh, we're just going to also take some more Terra Steel and I'm just going to continue to fight this guy as many times as necessary. And uh, just see what we get. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out the rest of my inventory of everything I don't need. I don't need cake. Or I need cake. What am I getting rid of my cake for? I auto eat that. I don't need my wand, torches, and there we go. So let's go ahead and head back. And let's fight this guy over and over again. This is going to be hilarious. Um, like I said, this sword from Averidia is just absolutely insane. And let's shift click. And this is the guardian of the Gaia, tier two. So this is the actually the hardest boss in Batania. And we're gonna we're gonna just hit him like it's nobody's business. I'm 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 ready for you, man. I'm ready. You just weren't ready for me. That's basically it. Yeah, we're still getting kind of hit there, but let's go again. And look at this. We also ended up getting um, the Dice of Fate, which I want more Dice of Fate, basically. Um, so it's going to be really nice to get those. And I'm going to keep fighting the Tier 2 because he gives us more Gaia Spirits, which is well worth it. I love how it says one head. I guess that... I don't know what that means. It means we've killed him one time? I don't know. But anyways, we do have this Dice of Fate. We're getting runes, by the way, which are awesome in themselves. Our energy's low, unfortunately. We're also getting all these special things, growth seeds, um, all kinds of different things. I want to open the relics soon. Better discs. We're getting mana steel, all that good stuff. Um, we're going to keep making more of these. Oh, yep. Okay, so we ran out. Yikes. Okay, so our wireless is out of range. We can do it one more time, and then we gotta go back. That's okay. We'll open that Dice of Fate very soon. We'll get three of them. Three of them going. We'll probably be able to get every single item that you can get from Batania late game, which is kind of crazy at the end of this pack. Because, I mean, all of the... If we can get the Odin, we're basically invincible. Alright, so there's even more. Um, yeah, we're just taking a little bit of damage. Alright, so let's go ahead and open some Dice of Fate. See what we get. So, this one we got the Eye of the Flugel. I think that's a thing that makes you have unlimited flight with the Flugel. This is the Ring of Thor. And the Ring of Odin. Both of which are incredibly powerful. Incredibly powerful rings. Um, yeah, we are basically... Look at our health bar, by the way. Because we have the Ring of Odin, we'll get a full health bar. And the Ring of Thor is incredibly di uh, crazy as well. Oh man, these are these are ridiculous. Let's go ahead and go back to the base. <sighs> oh man, I can't get enough of this. This sword is just insane. So now I can open this back up, take my items back out. Wow. Um, let's grab more of our tear steel. More of our Gaia Spirits. I'm just going to fight him a few more times. Seven more times. How about that? And that should be enough Gaia Spirits to kind of move us on. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fight him. You guys don't need to be here. You guys know how it goes. We just did it. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So we're back, and this is all that I ended up getting from fighting him. Let's open up these. And let's see. <laughs> we got the key. Oh, man. We got the key. The, the Ring of Loki. 
Um, we got the fruit, which is unlimited food. What do we get here? Um... Oh, dice landed in four, seems to have vanished into thin air. So we now have all of the relics. That's exactly what that means. And, um, yeah. There's no other slot, by the way, for this ring. So we can't have all three rings on, but man, oh man, having that on you is, is incredible. Also, the fruit, we no longer need anything because this is the fruit, the fruit that just keeps on giving. I think. So yeah, this is uh, another one of those crazy items that you can get. This one. If I had some uh, mana on me, I could use this. Um, I don't actually have any mana on me. But if I did, I could use all of these. Unfortunately, I don't have any. But I'm not after mana. I'm also not after any of these uh, charms that you can put on your Terra Steel armor. I am after the Guy Spirits. Um, the reason I'm after those Giant Spirits is for one simple reason. Also, I want to take all of the runes, because these are actually high-tier runes. I'll just take everything out of here. This is everything that I also got, by the way. Also, the Pinkinator allows us to tame a Wither, which might be something that we end up doing. You know, because what's wrong with, you know, taming a Wither? So, uh, let's see. We'll get what, three Wither Skeleton Skulls. Let's grab some soul sand. I don't actually have soul sand, which is kind of crazy. Let's get some soul sand. <laughs> there we go. Um, and yeah, I'll end up using one of these. I'll just show you what it does. It's kind of hilarious, actually. So, since we're about to end this series anyways, it's getting pretty close. Might as well just like cage him in here. Make sure to cage this. Rock, block that off. We'll get him to spawn. And then we'll just, we'll tame him. And look at it! Look how cute it is. It's a little pink wither. And uh, yeah, it's now ours. It's our wither forever. So yeah, we have that guy over there. I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> oh man, you got to love some of the stuff that you can do. Um, so yeah, now we got all that done. Let's go ahead and make what I was trying to make, which is actually the guy spirit ingots. These are actually required in making the transmutation table. And it's about the only thing that's going to be pretty hard to make. The only thing we need to make now is the energy condenser MK2. And we can now, we can actually make this. Um, all we need is some more infinity ingots, which of course I think we have enough stuff to make. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll work on those next episode. All of this of which we'll all get next episode, and I'm pretty sure we'll be able to complete this pack very, very soon. So a little bonus clip as I was trying to take the screenshot for today's video, it, it, it actually exploded. And uh, this is the result after the island for the Chaos Guardian explodes. It's so satisfying looking. Like, this is so satisfying looking. Oh, we have some crazy ores. Look at this. Dimensional shard ores. Uh, yes, please. Um, but yeah, like all of this. Look at, look at how crazy this is. The destruction. Like, this up here was where all of our uh, central pylon things were at. Whatever these are called. Ow. I guess these are still not fully destroyed. Oh wow, that straight up like kills it. This sword is no joke, guys. Like if I if I go up here, I should be able to like hit these. You actually get rewards for killing these things. You get epic shaders every time you kill. I'm killing all of these. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. This is a bonus. This is a bonus. Look at all this. Oh, this is just crazy. Yeah, these must be considered like bosses. Yeah, all of this is just destroyed. 
kind of ridiculous. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did and you enjoyed all the craziness, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.